Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So as you probably can tell from the size of this video, I've not had the best best time of it recently. I'm struggling a little bit, it's been a bit of a tough time. Um, yeah, having difficulty with these sort of ongoing pains that I've mentioned plenty of times, I know in, in previous videos, but they've kind of stopped me, stopped me doing things really. Um, so yeah, struggling with that, um, not even really been able to go out walking very much, um, hence why you know, this video, I'm lying on the sofa. So the best you're gonna get at me, I'm afraid today. Production value is gonna be pretty low. Um, so no shots of the outdoors or anything like that today. But yeah, I think, I've, I think sort of self-diagnosing here, I think I have something called pudendal neuralgia coupled, coupled with just general dysfunction of my pelvic floor. So I'm getting an irritation of a particular nerve called the pudendal nerve and also spasming of my pelvic floor muscles. So it's quite uncomfortable um, to be honest with you and very draining now of course things could be worse i could be in pain all the time and that that is not the case thankfully i mean i do have and i have had days this last week where i have been in pain from morning till night which is quite exhausting but thankfully i a lot of the time i can get comfortable so like right now i'm comfortable i'm, I'm not in pain but i know when i start moving around i will be but yeah i mean it's a tricky one i I've, I have spoken to the doctors over the phone about it, but I've not, I suppose I haven't really forced the issue. It's quite tricky that a lot of my appointments are over the phone and to get a sort of an actual physical assessment done by uh, by someone is quite difficult. Um, I think I could get it done if I, if I really pushed for it, but I don't think they're going to be able to tell me anything definitive at this point in time. Yes, they may be able to give me some stronger painkillers. The painkillers I've got aren't really doing anything, but... Uh, I think it's a case of getting to my next operation, having that operation, sorting out the real problem, which is obviously the cancerous tumours in my body and then assessing where I'm at, at during that recovery. And if I need extra help getting over this, then then I'll start to push it. Um, so that's the decision I made. Obviously, we're getting quite close now to the the uh, liver resection surgery, which I think is also adding adding to symptoms a bit as well. Um, obviously feeling a little bit stressed and nervous about the operation coming up, which is not gonna not gonna be helping. But one of the I mean one of the things that that uh, that could help with this pain and identifying it perhaps is I am having my scans next week and I'm having a full scan including all like the pelvic region as well. So they are scanning that so scanning that area. So they'll be able to see if there's anything major going majorly majorly wrong going on, which I don't think there is. I think it is irritation of this particular nerve. Um which is very uncomfortable, but it's not, it's not, um, not a serious problem, but it does affect day to day life. Um, yeah, quite tiring, quite tiring. Not only do I find it frustrating that I can't get out and do what I love, you know, being outside and exercising and things like that, but even just simple things like being on my computer and creating things and feel like I'm, I'm achieving things on my day is quite difficult to do. Um, hence why this video is quite simple as well you know i can't spend hours on my computer editing things uh, even just even lying down on my laptop just being in that position um, does sort of create extra pain for me which is a bit frustrating and sometimes i can start thinking about how i how my life's on hold and i'm not really getting and getting anywhere but then i was thinking about this recently and uh, what this whole experience has given me and also this this particular week as well is an ability to empathize with people who are suffering with illnesses and chronic pain and things like that which I can definitely look at positively positively and say that you know I I am improving as a person over this time you know I'm, I, I consider my quite myself quite a sympathetic empathetic person personality anyway but um, I think yeah I'm I'm growing as a person I'm going to be, be able to empathize with a greater proportion of people and you know more empathy in the world can only be a good thing but i don't want you to worry about me and think that i'm really really struggling with things i'm managing to stay pretty level-headed to be honest with you but i wanted to to share this video and make this video firstly just because i think it's important to to keep honest if i'm going to be documenting this uh this experience but also secondly i want to be able to look back on this in the future and and remind myself of the difficult times and the fact that I was strong enough to get through the difficult times and I think that will be motivation to appreciate every moment that I have and 
and really make the most of, of my life. So I wanted to make that not only for the present time and, and you guys watching, but also myself in the future as well. But in other news, the Olympics has now started, which is amazing. That can distract me for a little while. And I've actually just finished watching the opening ceremony, which didn't blow me away, to be honest with you. Um, unlike London 2012, obviously a slightly biased view being from England, but you know, I can rewatch London 2012 opening ceremony and it, it brings tears to my eyes. Whereas, yeah, you know, there were some nice moments in this opening ceremony, but it, it wasn't it wasn't spectacular, really, I don't think. But, you know, they've had a very, very difficult uh, build up to these games. To think of the stress they must have gone through to put an opening ceremony together is quite amazing. So, yeah, there were some nice moments in it, particularly the, the moment I thought was the best. And if you haven't watched it, just Google this um, was the flying the hunt they flew hundreds of drones in the air with lights and made up a, a picture of the, the world which was quite amazing to see that was definitely the best bit for me and because i haven't had anything to do i've been relying a lot on reading and, and things like that so i know some of you are interested in what i read so i'll just i'll give you the quick lowdown so i finished the first book from the mistborn trilogy that i mentioned in the last video which i enjoyed that was good um i'm taking a slight break from that and I'm, i'll come back and read the other two i've just finished reading a book or a graphic novel actually that my brother lent me called Mouse which was good um, which is essentially about um, the author interviewing his dad who lived through the holocaust um, so yeah pretty heavy subject but yeah um, really good enjoyed that it's my first proper uh, graphic novel I suppose that I've, I've read and I've actually moved on to reading a Terry Pratchett book so I've started the Discworld series of books so yeah going down that fantasy fancy route again um so yeah we'll see how we, how see how i get on get on with that so i've started reading uh, guards 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 for anyone that likes terry pratchett and the Discworld series um yeah i'm looking forward to telling jenny all about it she'll be interested in that she'll be interested to know that the Discworld series of books is set on a disc shaped uh, world that is balancing on the back of four elephants which is which are standing on the back of a turtle floating through space. So yeah, she'll um, she'll find that interesting, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing, <laughs> reading lots of books. And now I'm going to be watching lots of Olympics. And then, as I already mentioned, I've got the scans next week and then hopefully the operation the week after. So I'm getting closer to that, that goal. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in another video. Cheers, guys.